Uh, this is a rehab uh, instructional video to treat uh, Jones fracture, which is the fracture that you would get on the fifth metatarsal of your foot. Uh, this is after eight weeks after your surgery, so you should be getting out of the boot now. Um, and this is uh, what you will see in your rehab for regaining the basic range of motion of your foot. Uh, foot area and ankle area because it's been on the boot for so long. So uh, we will start in the early phase with towel curls and slides and I will show you those. So, next. Towel curls, you will start off with the towel um, extended this way with your foot at the very end of the towel and you will use your fingers here to pull the towel towards you. You will do this uh, until you get to the edge of the towel uh, and this will help uh, with dexterity in the toes since they've been in a boot or restrained for too long um, and this will help your uh, receptors on your foot uh, kind of reboot and uh, it also should be painless. Um, you can also do towel slides and towel slides are really easy. You kind of just slide your foot to the side and curl this towel uh, in a spiral. And you can do this oppositely and do um, sets of these, like so. And this should work on your ankle area because you are moving the towel and also grabbing onto the towel to move it. So you are. Um, uh, we are firing uh, motor neurons into the foot so that we can regain that connectivity on that side of the foot. During mid-phase, uh, this should be after you've uh, accomplished fair movement of the toe. Um, and this will be a little more difficult for you if you're experiencing pain in that area. So in case you uh, are, uh, you can switch from pencil to much easier pieces of foam or uh, marbles that you can pick up. But this one's more of a after you've uh, accomplished uh, picking up foam or marbles with your feet. Uh, now I can't do it with this foot, but I can do it with this foot. Um, you're basically just going to grab onto your pencil like a monkey and grab it. And this will be a successful grab. You will repeat this process until you've done about 10 to 15 reps. So as you can see, it's pretty difficult. <laughs> um, so be patient. Uh, and this will help your uh, brain rewire um, all the neurons in your feet so that you can tell it and think about how you can pick up this pencil. And this will help it um, not only uh, physically, but also uh, neurologically. Exercise will be a donkey kick and this uh, doesn't work out your foot but it does help with restoring balance and flexibility in your lumbo pelvic hip complex uh, and this will ensure that you can rebalance with the injured foot correctly and it will keep you in um, in balance. So you will start in the bird dog position uh, feet and, and knees on the floor um, aligned and you will raise your leg up, flex, and then down. And we'll do the other foot and down. And you will do uh, three sets of ten each, two minute rest in between. For the late phase, uh, you should have already been able to accomplish uh, most range of motion on your feet, ankle, and leg area. So this will uh, now test your proprioception and your muscular control. And this exercise is called the no nose touch. And you're basically going to stand in front of a wall, uh, feet um, aligned with your shoulders. You're about a feet away from the, uh, the wall and you will raise the leg that is uninjured. Uh, so you are resting on the injured leg and you will, uh, you will slowly try to touch the wall like this. 
and you will do this slowly, um, 10 reps each leg, um, but make sure you do it slowly. You should feel your leg trying to balance you, uh, which is what we're trying to do here. Um, <clears throat> another exercise that you can do uh, once you can really do the range of motion uh, and go back to uh, life <laughs> and if you're doing a sport specific like soccer like my patient is you can do some uh, exercises that can help with cardiovascular muscle endurance uh, and these are called uh, karyokas and what you're going to do is you're going to step down and bring up your opposite leg forward and step down like that so it's kind of like a crisscross uh, motion and you're going to do this fast, so it'll be like this, 